I've never shared online what I've learned from my French grandmother and my French mother. And today is the day I'm sharing with you the eight secret advice that I learned from the two most amazing French women in my life, in my family, and we actually passing from generation to generation and how those tips are so simple and so important that I still apply them in my adult life. I'm sure this video will empower you and it will give you like a good sense of hope and strength. So thank you so much for your likes, for subscribing and for leaving a comment. Click, click, click. This one is from my grandmother and she was so strong about it. She said, always expect a surprise visitor in your home. And for this reason, your home must be always impeccable, meaning it must be clean, tidy, welcoming. So cleaning your house one, twice per week, it's so important. First of all, it's really good for your mental health. And it's always having someone who's going to come at the last minute, not someone who's going to fix your window. As well, it's a polite thing to make people absolutely welcome. It depends on your culture, but I'm sure that should be actually ruled even if you have daughters or granddaughters, you talk them out. And as well, when someone is coming in your house, always straight away within the first two minutes after smiling and you know always offer if they want something to drink a tea coffee a glass of water make them sitting make them feel comfortable and make them feel like they are always welcome in your home some people do not like unexpected visit for me i don't mind until if it's like really interrupting my work that's the only reason actually i love having people in my home as well you remember i always said people judge you by your appearance people judge the way you dress, the color of your lipstick, whatever, they would judge you by the way your home looks like. It doesn't matter if it's a big home, small house, it doesn't matter, tiny apartment, but all the way is decorated and just well done, you know. People will feel comfortable in a nice, welcoming home than something is just not. <laughs> So take care of your appearance, take care of your home, always being stylish, clean, and presentable. If you are not heavy on makeup or you just going somewhere and you go to the beach and then you took a shower and then you don't have time to go back home and to get changed and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't look my best right now, then you can do the no makeup look and you can do this. First of all, you can pinch your cheeks. I know it's a very old tips, but my grandmother used to do it and pinch, pinch, pinch to bring a little bit of color of your cheeks. Or if you have a lipstick or a blush, but it's easier with a lipstick, put a little bit of a lipstick on your lips. You can do as well with a finger so it looks like it's just natural and you have an applying coat. Do with your fingers look much, much more natural. And as well with whatever you have left on your fingers, you can just doing a little bit more on your cheeks to bring a little bit more colors. But to be honest with you, the best way to have a clear skin and relaxed eyes and looking fresher, nothing is better than a good night sleep. And to me, it's the best skincare routine as well, you know. I know when I don't sleep well, like happened to me last night, I know I'm gonna feel a bit crappy all day and I just don't like my energy being a little bit down. So invest, of course, in a very good quality skincare that are adapted to the type of your skin, beauty treatment, protect your skin from the sun because the moment you have a very good skin, you're going to thank yourself in the years, in the decades to come and say, okay, got a little bit of wrinkles, a little bit of a lines here, but my skin still look good because I've been taking care for years. It's no secret, women or men, men actually is different, but people who, in general who have beautiful skin unless they really born like that, lucky you, but usually they really take care of the skin on a very young age. And it's always good as well to invest in your face, in your smile, because my darling, you're beautiful. 
this is from my mother who um, mom was a single mom with two girls my sister and I and we didn't have money we were actually poor like really really poor like not having own clothes or putting newspaper in um, trainers that I have to go for sport given by someone else but despite that my mom always taught me that even with no money you never wear anything with holes not iron with a stain same for your nails same for your skin because that's things who are easy to achieve even if you have no money or you on a budget it's not complicated to wear something clean ironed and and just have a fresh skin and attach your hair and put a bit of a colors on your lips. I mean, everybody can do that, right? But meaning as well, it respects yourself. So being a high value woman, by first looking after yourself, looking after your home, put yourself first and always taking care of your skin. So for example, if you have a weight issue, I will give the reference to um, the diet secret that French women don't want you to know. But it's also, if you want more videos about how to take care of your body, how to go back to your fitness and bring back your energy, please let me know in the comment section. Okay, this one is a hard one uh, for me, particularly, is to be in control of your emotions. And I would love to make more videos about it, so please let me know if you're interested. But if you have a bit of a trauma in your life, you're going to develop more the masculine energy, especially the one you use it at work. You're going to work hard, you're going to make money, you take short decisions, you're ruthless. We're all doing that, especially when you run quite a few businesses and you just like go straight you a doer you have to do it but this is go for it chase hunt this is the masculine vibe and we all have masculine and of course a feminine energy but don't forget as well your feminine energy especially when you back home or with your loved one it doesn't mean feminine energy is not to be a doormat it has nothing to do with that but being feminine is really look after yourself the way you dress, having a soft voice, which I don't have sometimes. <laughs> For example, as well, and that's important, because that's always shocked me when I see that online, is when someone is really on your nerves, never, ever lose your temper in public. First of all, you're going to be judged and put in this category that you will never want to be by people who say, yeah, but you know, and I'm like, no. You pause, you isolate yourself, you go in the bathroom, you take a breather, or you just walk away. Don't lose that. Don't lose your temper. And especially even now worse, because everybody has the fun. And remember those certain age women, I hate to say that, I'm sorry, but you know, being called the Karens and losing their mind over a car space. Be classy. Think twice before opening your mouth. Be elegant. Inside that, you are a queen girl. This one is extremely important, and I learned that from my mom as well, is always being financially independent. A girlfriend of mine lately, and sadly, found out that a 20 years year of marriage that actually is being cheating with another woman for years and is in love. And for her, it was not only the betrayal was absolutely horrendous, but also because she stopped working to support his career, to have the kids, and she didn't have a job for 20 years. She's highly educated. And then now she's in her 50s, she's heartbroken with no money, and even if they go to a divorce, I don't know what it's going to be, then she's still going to depend on him financially. Plus, on top of that, if you have uh, health issues, you are not in a good place. No one wants to be in this place, okay? Even if your partner is super financially secured, you need to make your own money. Do not trust people because no one has a crystal ball and said, just in case, girl, you need to take care of yourself. You need to have a plan B. You don't know what the future reserves. 
I hate to say that, but I got so many women around my age, maybe in the relationship or the marriage or the partnership, they, the, the love fall out or someone is cheating or maybe something even worse than that, you know. But, oh, by the way, I got a tip for you. Never go back to a cheater, ever. But my, my point anyway is to always look after yourself first. Be an example for your kids. Be always having a plan B and say, okay, this relationship is not working, but I got money in my bank account. I have this, this, this. I have a computer, a brand. I can create something online. Okay, this one is not coming from my mom or grandmother, but it's from my grandfather that I extremely miss. And he always said to me, uh, in French, we said, voyager, c'est la jeunesse. And he said, travel is youth, if I have to translate. Travel as much as you can. And there are no age for that. So the world can be really small sometimes. And I started to travel at a very early age. That's why I wanted to do it for a very, very long time. I became a flight attendant for six years, so I could get paid to travel. And then I became a scuba diving instructor, so I could get paid to scuba. <laughs> I lived in most beautiful places in the world, Maldives, Mexico, Sri Lanka, Thailand, you name it. But more important that I learned, and trust me, that worth every, even more sometimes, some education from university when people are going to be in debt for years. I learned about people. I learned about myself, my tolerance. It pushed me to be more patient. I learned how to speak more languages. I learned to know more about religion and different food as well. Very important, the food. And to me, is this has value and it's going to keep up all your life. Travel, especially when you're young it's of course more fun you have the body follow up but you know what it's no age to start I saw um, where was it a few days ago I was traveling on an island not far from Bali called Lembogen and I saw a group of older ladies or wiser ladies and there were five or six of them they were from Australia actually and they were so lovely and they're traveling together in the middle of nowhere and a cliff on the bar I'm like what are you doing here, girls? Oh, we're traveling by ourselves. We love it. We take care of each other. And I put a big smile on my face and I'm thinking, I want to be like that in a few years, but many, many years, but I'm still traveling. <laughs> Remove any one husband, ex-husband, people, family, friends, who are abusive or toxic. Because sadly, I lived once with an abusive man and that was my ex-husband. And after a really bad verbal abuse and really bad argument, he did something very violent to me. I knew that it would be just the beginning because my dad was like that, so I recognized the sign. And he never been violent for a few years at the beginning. I gave myself a week, within a week, I left my home, my dog, my car, everything. And it was extremely scary and it was extremely stressful. Of course, the divorce was not easy. And on top of that, just to annoy me and even hurt me a little bit more, he gave away my dog. I never saw my dog ever again. I came back home one day and I didn't see my dog. Anyway, that's another story. But after the pain and surviving and be fighter again, you know, Two years after, when I was finally back on my feet, I did as well a therapy to help me out. I rebuilt myself, and to this day, I promise to myself that I will not let anyone disrespect me, anyone treat me like shit. Anyone, if I one day I'm in another difficult relationship, when I say difficult, I'm talking about this type of abuse, I will just run away. I've never been with someone else abusive again in my life, touch wood, but now I recognize the signs. So I know it's easier to talk about it than doing it. I know as well some people can be extremely toxic or some people you're going to be super friends at the beginning and at the end they're going to start making comments on your lifestyle and why you on a weekend here and who you talking and I'm like, Oh, you got the red bell, oh, no, it's the red flag and the little bell, which red. <laughs> and they're just like, hmm, I don't like this type of comments, but maybe she's having a bad day. And then it's escalating and you're like, yeah, I cannot talk to you anymore. This, this type of friends or friendship 
I'm not interested in. It doesn't matter if your friends or your partner you've been two months with or 10 years, but if you feel in, in your gut or even close friends said, you know what, are you sure about this person, etc. Again, please seek for help, seek for support, walk away. Life is way too short to be with toxic people. As a Capricorn, I highly value friendship, especially women's friendship. But the moment I see the intentions are not genuine, usually it's a build up. So it takes a bit of a while for me to start realizing that something is a bit off. And I said that nicely because it's on YouTube. Um, you're out of the picture. I never go back to this type of friendship or partnership ever. And it's a bit harsh. Okay, I get that. But this is my only way to protect myself as well. So please, if you're in this type of situation, protect yourself, seek for some help, turn your back. Again, life is too short. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to feel safe the, the, with the people you love and you surround yourself. And this is it when we, I think with age, we are more selective and we are so much better in our life. My mom was a nurse, so a very young age, I've been told to be taking care of my health, very young age. With age now, I realize that my health is the most important thing, is the most priceless thing, asset that I have. Because when you're healthy, you're energetic, you think clearly, you obviously your body, mind are connected in a good way. I'm sure it happens to you, but I have more and more friends who have cancer, more and more friends who are, have cancer at a younger age. And last week, I just lost someone again from cancer that it, she was really important in my life. She almost had a mother figures and it scared, it scared me a lot. Obviously, cancer can something, it looks like everybody has cancer, it's so scary. But I'm just gonna say, it's better to prevent that that trying to fight it. And for this, I would just ask you to do a full checkup per year, no matter how it costs. Just do everything, urine, blood, uh, mammogram, anything you need, because being healthy is being happy to me. And taking care of your mental health as well, because the day you sick, and I have my own issues as well, I have an autoimmune disease, I have a cancer scared two years ago, so I've been there as well, but for the moment, my health, I can keep scuba diving over 50. I can keep traveling. I can keep having fun. I keep walking as many hours as I want and then do a break. This is so, so important. So I hope, and if you're not really in a good health right now and you're watching this video, I'm so sorry that happened to you, but I hope things will get better and I just send you a lot of love. Thank you so much for being with me and make sure you smash the subscribe button, the little bell like this, you will be notified next time I will post some new videos. I would like to do more videos about well-being. Let me know what you think about this video, which one it was like, oh yeah, thank you for reminding me that. And if you haven't watched this video, highly, highly recommend it. I give you lots of love, lots of kisses, lots of hugs. You take care of yourself and I'll see you to the next video. Ciao.